To see a Nautilus swimming in the wild, Peter Ward must dive at night when they rise to the reef under cover of darkness. French underwater photographer Pierre Laboute will join him to search the shadowy nighttime sea. One thing that happens in night dives that is totally different is not simply you come up and say, there's the boat over there, because in the dark you come up, and you may not see the boat. So that is what you really think about. With luck, before their flashlight batteries give out or their air tanks run empty, they'll meet a Nautilus on its way up the reef. As soon as we turn our lights on, we have a sense of the bottom beneath us, but only as a spot. All else is dark around you, but that spotlight is illuminating fish in the midwater, you've got lots of shrimp, and at night the plankton in the coral reefs rises. So it's like diving through this incredible bestiary of tiny animals. That cliff, when you go over the edge, you just see blackness. And you shine your light down there, well, there's no bottom down there. Well, it's down there, but it could be a thousand feet down. So you're looking really over the edge. And the Nautilus are living down there. So the extraordinary thing is to sit on the edge of that cliff at 100 feet, let's say, and you see these very faint white things coming up to you from the deep. The most extraordinary feeling. It's like being back in the nation ocean where most of the animals swimming around were like the nautilus back when they were the rule. And to finally see them swimming about, I just had this sense that this is not some ancient, slow, stupid creature. This is a survivor. It's a survivor for a good reason. You don't last 500 million years if you're poorly adapted. The Nautilus was born of a winning strategy that combined a shell with buoyant locomotion. 